Welcome back to Cinema Corner, and today we're going to keep ourselves in line and check ourselves as a channel that uh, focuses on cinema and movies and as three big movie fans. We're going to give our what we're calling our Cinema Sins, five movies that we haven't seen and uh, kind of give a little reason why we haven't seen them or why we put it in the list. Uh, again, this doesn't mean these are like the five greatest movies we feel like we haven't seen. It's just five movies that for some reason we feel like confessing we haven't seen uh so you know josh you're looking cute today why don't you start us off thank you and uh i gotta say this one technically isn't one film um uh, just it's a couple okay. but um okay you can at least i, I guess i could thing. at least say the first one but especially in this friend group and how much we talk about this franchise um i haven't seen like any of the original Fast and Furious films. I'm talking any of them. I'm talking my first one I saw was number seven. And I haven't seen any wow. before seven. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So you saw the downfall. You see, like, uh, I saw the know. rise. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I started at a good point. All wow. right. And... Yikes. Yeah, just, just uh, you know, my buddy just said, you want to watch this movie? And it was number seven. I was like, you know, I've never seen these before. And so I watched it. And then afterwards, when they've come out, you know, you guys were like, hey, let's see these. And I've seen them. But I have never seen. Like, I mean, I'm talking about like any bit, like even being on TV to watch. I have not seen any more than maybe five minutes max of any of the movies before seven. That's yeah. crazy. So I was like, I got to include that. I got to fess up. Yeah. Reason? None. Will I ever someday? Going to be honest, it's probably not. It's probably not. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why not. It's it's just, just, I have a better chance of seeing the newest one than ever seeing any of the original ones. Or even Tokyo Drift, the one that I hear the most about. But No, come on. Too Fast, Too Furious in... Fast Five. Those are the only two you have to see. Those are it. So, yeah, I just had to fess up for that. That's pretty wild. That is crazy, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Alex, what do you want to get off your chest? Well, this one is mainly was included because you mentioned it as your favorite movie of all time. So, considering I've never seen it before. It's okay. Uh, that's the only reason why it's on here, Neither and uh, that is Good Will Hunting. <laughs> that's, okay. that's okay. Neither of you have it, so that's fine. Yeah, never seen it. I've heard a lot about it. Never seen it. Why? No idea. Just just never got around to seeing it. That's pretty much what the majority of these are. It's not because I yeah. don't want to watch them. It's just like I never found the time or never like was like, yeah, let me go ahead and just watch it. No disrespect to any of these movies, but I just haven't. I feel personally attacked. It's my favorite movie. Neither <laughs> of you have seen it, but that's besides the point. We can change that. Uh, I'll go with uh, Shawshank Redemption. Uh, this is one a lot of people like. Uh, so, so far, Josh is going to mention both of those movies. It sounds <laughs> yep. like pretty soon here. Uh, yep. uh, uh, yeah, Shawshank Redemption. Love Morgan Freeman. Uh, I just have a thing. If it's like it's back in like the eight if it wasn't if i wasn't alive when it came out it's gonna be hard for me to care to watch it uh and that's just one of them that uh it's just never got around to don't care to sorry about it you know um it's, yeah i might as well just say that i have both of those are on my list let's just skip here and let me just quick explain so I think redemption i thought i saw that movie i have referenced the wrong movie my entire life when it came to that, I don't even remember what movie I referenced, but that was wrong. But then I watched like five minutes of Shawshank and I was like, what the hell is this? This isn't what I thought it was. And then I realized I've never seen this movie. And so it's it's on there of like, oh, shit. And then I saw that it is like one of the highest rated movies almost all times. Um, and I was like, what the fuck? OK. Um, and Good Will Hunting is on there as well. Um, that's one that I've always wanted to watch, just never did. 
I have no reason to not. And then when Blake mentioned that it was his favorite, it did get added onto my movie list that I do actually watch movies on. So it you will said, be watched you said, at some day. But, you said this four months ago. When, when I yes. mentioned it was my number one, in that video, you said, I have a list of movies and it's in my order. It's in my top five of like, and I watch them in order. That I'm gonna watch it, and that was four months ago. So you're telling well, us the exact well, same story as you did four months. Because I got distracted by TV shows, watching Breaking Bad. But anyways, the movie list hasn't been touched. But that list does get touched, though. You know, it's not on the other list that I have of movies that I want to see that just aren't on a list to actually watch. Anyways, so those two, yeah, just no reason to. Uh, I know I probably will like both, and people reference Shawshank a lot. Um, even in TV shows, and I have somehow avoided all spoilers, even when it comes to, especially Good Will Hunting. That stuff's on TikTok a lot, and I avoid it immediately because I'm like, I'm gonna see it someday. So I don't know, just we'll see. But it's a sin, regardless. Well, since you guys already said it, I might as well just say it too. Because Josh Hick is also on that list. <laughs> I've not seen it. I've, I, it I just is, know man. that Morgan Freeman's on there, and that's about it. Um, same reason, just never got around to watching it. So, but I've heard good things about it. Maybe one day. One day. One day we one will, day. guys. One day. One All day. will. Uh, I'm going to another one that is commonly regarded for some reason as one of the best movies ever, which is Citizen Kane. Uh, it's this is talked about as one of like the greatest movies ever. Uh, it was made in like 1941, I believe. So, I just don't care to watch it um, mm -hmm. at all. So uh, I hear it's talked about a lot. I'm pretty sure it's black and white because I was so old. We were still fighting Nazis at that time. So I think it's still black and white. Um, I just don't care to watch it. Don't care that it get that and Shawshank are two that I hear that get brought up a lot. Can't be bothered. I have heard a lot of that movie as well. Especially all the movie gurus, man. They love that film. And then critics love that film. And it makes you wonder, is it actually good? Or is it just because it's like a movie you, they could tolerate from the 40s? You know what I mean? And you're like, oh, now it's got to be a masterpiece. So. True. Yeah. That's uh Well, this next one um, has been has been literally clicked on and has been cued so many times in my life. Um, even when I've asked other friends saying, hey, what movie should I watch right now? They'll always say this movie, but I've just never fucking clicked it. In fact, actually, I chose Blade Runner 2049 over this film, and that was not a regret. But it's just funny to think that this movie is constantly passed on, and that is Mad Max. I know I will like this movie. I know I will. I know I will enjoy it. But I refuse. Something in me refuses to actually watch this goddamn film. No reason to at all. Because, like, I know, I know I'll enjoy it at any time. I could pull it up at 3 a.m. You know, one of those type of movies. I'll enjoy it. But I, I still, for years, just have not watched this. And it's not on any list either. So the chances are of me actually watching it. Slim. Slim. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, I'll go with uh, a newer one here, and then I'll go with another one for the next pick. Um, Midsummer. I've heard a lot about it. Like, everyone, when it came out, I think it was 2019, everyone was talking about it. And I was like, oh, look at this. It's a new A24 film. It's, it's really good. It has all, all this stuff. I'm like, I may watch it. I said at the time, oh, I'll watch it one day. It's now been about five years, and I still have not watched it. So, you know. Another four or five more years, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It's kind of how it goes. You're valid for that. That's a common one. Um, I'm going to say Interstellar is my next one. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to like this movie a lot. But uh, I don't think it's on any streaming service. And that's my excuse. And I'm going to stick to that excuse. Uh, I could be wrong. But I refuse to look it up and be wrong. And know <laughs> I could have watched it by now. So yeah. in my mind, it's not on a streaming service, so I can't watch it. But uh, I want to. Man, do I want to watch this movie? Uh, if it would just be added to a streaming service, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's that's a. I feel like if, if it is on one, it would be Max. I think I think it's Which been I feel on like Max it's a not. couple times. Uh, Gravity is on Max because every time I see it, I'm like, oh, it's on, and then I'm like, wait, that's that's not the one I want to watch. Yeah, that one's awful. So. So. 
One day, Interstellar. Just, just get on a streaming service, and I'll, I'll watch that. Uh, I guess I might as well go back to back since Josh already, uh, you know, we yeah, had two of the same as him, so he's already running low here. Yeah. Um, uh, this is this is two separate trilogies that all connect the uh, whole Middle Earth, uh, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies. Um, I saw the first Lord of the Rings once, and uh, that's it. Nothing, nothing else. Uh, which Lord of the Rings had like won a bunch of Oscars and stuff like it was crazy and uh, people regard it as like one of their best trilogies ever Just uh, haven't got around to it and then they made the Hobbit which I think there's some kind of a Little polarizing there. I think some people who love Lord of the Rings are like oh it was a really good trilogy and some are like it's nothing close to the originals blah blah Just haven't got around to watching those which I feel like I'll probably like them and to be honest They're one of my girlfriend's favorite trilogies, so I should watch them <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. Yes. It's like three hours on movie. It's like, who's got time? You know, I, I look at it, I'm like, ah, it's 7 o'clock. By the time it's over, it's past 10. Like, who would want to be awake at that point? And I think, like, the uh, expanded well, I watch, like, version of the third one, mm -hmm. Return of the King, is like yeah. four hours and 30 minutes long. You know, it's it's funny you mention, yeah. you know, girlfriend favorite trilogy. Because uh, mine, that, that was, they love the Lord of the Rings. And I said, like, about a year or two ago, I was like, I've never seen these, just ever. I've always wanted to, but I was like, I've never seen them. And then she had them actually like the discs for them. And then we watched them all and I enjoyed it. It's good, solid, you know, Hobbit's all right. It's good to all right, but Lord of the Rings, it, it is good. Um, but no, you, it's understandable. It is hard to dedicate that much time for that. That's like an entire weekend straight. It is. It is. It's tough to dedicate. I mean, you don't even have to watch. I don't even have to watch them all at once. It's just like, just watch one every now and then. But I just can't do it. No, no. It's can't hard. do it. Yeah. One day. Okay. Well, one day. You will. I'm also going to group these together because they're, I guess, a trilogy. I can't remember. Uh, the Godfather movies. Heard a lot about them, especially part two. Never seen them before. This one may be one that I may never want to watch. Don't know why. Like every time I see it, I'm like, ah, uh, no. Nah. Noted. Ah, oh, great, brother. Uh, Interesting. Great. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Fantastic. Well, um, yeah. So, you know, I think out of all the ones I have on here, that's like one that I like really don't care to ever watch. The other ones I'm, I may watch down the line, but yeah. Uh, unless, of course you guys do, do do something about it somebody getting tortured by that i was just so. thinking i just thought it was funny josh mentioned something about like lord of the rings are like three hours that's a long time and in my mind i was like man isn't there like a Zack snyder black and white justice league that's like four hours long yep that'd be crazy that would be crazy <laughs> that would be crazy, that would be crazy. it's wild i so who, Making who my suggestion for Alex seemed pretty good. <laughs> All right. Anyways, my final one here um, is one that genuinely I, I really, I mean, in my core, I really want to see this movie. Always have wanted to see this movie. Avoided for years, my entire life of spoilers. And that's the Space Odyssey. And I just know I will love this, especially since it's, it's an older film. But just the visuals of every time I see it just look crisp. I know the plot is just right up just my nerdy alley, bro. It, I mean, I, I know I will love it. They, even if it might be slow, but the Blade Runner was slow as shit. And I still love that film as my second top. You know, I know this film has a chance to be in my top 10 if I watched it. Yet, I refuse to just dedicate time to. It's like almost like I need like to be a in the right mindset and like have like the right setting to watch it. I know that sounds stupid, but it's cause I know like I want to enjoy it as much as I can. And it's like, I refuse to just watch it on my phone. Like it's gotta be on an actual TV, et cetera. And just haven't dedicated time to do it. Why would you watch it on your phone? Yeah, what? <laughs> well, I'm just so saying weird. like more excuse of why I haven't seen it. But yeah. Right. It, especially for a film. I definitely think has a chance to crack into my top 10. Just, Never watched it. No reason to. Just didn't. Okay. Well, I'll just say my, my last one. It's the probably the most recent one. And that is Top Gun Maverick. I've not seen it. 
maybe one day uh, I'll see it. So, um, yeah, nothing, nothing against the movies. One of us is. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. Anyways, what's your your last one? Or two of you might end up watching. Um, I have one movie that I know I, I just hate everything about it. Just the people who enjoy it. I know what it's about relatively, and I refuse to watch it. Um, but I'm not going to give that answer because that could come back and bite me <laughs> if I say a movie oh, that I refuse to watch. Oh, it's it's most likely so, uh, on here for my, my my choice. So yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just not say that <laughs> one, and uh, I'm just going to say uh, Schindler's List seems like a movie that a lot of people like. Um, it's you know supposed to be emotional, I guess. I, I'll be honest, I don't I don't fully know what it's about. Uh, never watched it, never seen it. Like I said, I don't even know what it's about. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's a very sad movie from my understanding. Uh, but uh, I, I, I genuinely don't know anything about it, hey, that, so that I can't, I can't talk mind. too much on it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I've just heard about it. I've heard about it. Yeah, everyone uh, but, says good uh, things. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Allegedly, who knows? I don't know what the plot is. Um, so that's our cinema sins. And uh, we talked about this idea. And it kind of brought forth the idea of another idea. video. To bring together a group, a group of remarkable right. people. <laughs> to bring together a group. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're starting a new series. That is very unnamed at the moment. Um, but uh, we each are giving each other a movie that you have to watch within about a month. And we're going to have a video in a month of all three of us reviewing the movie that somebody else made us watch. And then at the end of that, again, we will give, you know, the other person that you didn't give the suggestion to. You'll give them a suggestion. They have to watch it and so forth. Uh, just quick little stipulations for this. Obviously, it has to be a movie that, you know, we haven't seen. The person hasn't seen before. So that person, like, can't lie to get out of it. And you have to watch it. We can't, like, lie and be like, Oh yeah, I watched it, and they watched like two minutes of it on TikTok. Um, so that's just kind of the stipulations that we all agreed to. That you can't, you have to be honest about. If somebody gives you a suggestion that you have seen, you have to be like, you're gonna have to come up with a new one, or you can't be like, ah, oh, darn, I've seen that one, can't watch it, blah blah. So Josh was very adamant when we talked about this idea that he was picking for Alex. I was very adamant. So it's only fitting, Josh, kick us off before you, you. you do anything. Thank you. Good. But before you do anything, I just want, I just want, I just want, want you to know, you are the catalyst for what's about to happen, because depending on what you give me, I'm gonna give it to him. You know, so be very careful. And guess what? If I get something bad, it's coming back to you, Josh. Yeah. I have options. We have options. Run from it. Dread it. Destiny <laughs> arrives all the same, Alex. Please no. Please no. And I am here. I have arrived to present to you this 2021 masterpiece of a film called The Green Knight. And I want you to know I accept I accept the consequences for not only my actions on that day of texting blood Say, yo, man, I think this movie might be good. <laughs> it's all led to this. So, oh, no. for your first movie, Alex, I have sentenced you <laughs> to the Green Knight. <laughs> I, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. That's unfortunate. Should have known. <laughs> it was coming. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's a canon event. <laughs> well, Ooh. sir, you have forced my hand. <laughs> so, Blake, Listen, Alex, before <laughs> let's not let's just wait. Let's just, let's just no. let's, let's all just settle no. down. Listen, let's listen, listen, here, listen. Right? No, I did nothing wrong to you. I did no. nothing wrong. Just no, to Alex. If it wasn't know. me, it would have been him. <laughs> but because I know <laughs> we, that you're gonna give it back to cycle, him, Alex. I'm fine with this. I won't though. What if I don't? Do you think about that? <laughs> no, he could be nice I had to two me. options. And now, Blake, I bestow you 
Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Oh! You are to see <laughs> the <laughs> Snyder Cut. Dude! <laughs> you crossed the line! Nah. That's just so long! Hours. Oh god, the Godfathers are coming out! I want you to watch the third Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> you are bestowed Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Oh. It's on HBO Max. Oh or I guess just god. Max now. Dude, that is four hours of trash. I hate Justice League. It's gonna be the I hate Zack Snyder, if we're being honest. Mm. Dude, that's not right. Oh. That's not right. Man. See, I gotta think. There's a moral decision here. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I can try to Listen, break the cycle. You know, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, before you say anything. No, you said. I had a, I had said, a rule. I can handle it. What's your rule, Josh? That I wasn't going to cross that, like, ultra lengthy barrier. And so I was waiting. I thought I knew Justice League was the peak of, like, under the green night <laughs> was going to be because of the length. And there's a couple other movies because of length. But that barrier has been crossed. So... You gave me the Do green. And see, you started this. So, in theory, let's be real. I could you know cross that line right back. To you. If you had Alex, what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? Uh, probably like Top Gun Maverick would have been probably. What oh, I for done. sure, for sure, most likely, for sure. <laughs> uh, Josh, I have to waste four hours of my life now and the next oh, month. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna take four hours from you. And I feel like it's only right that you said, I don't think you've seen a Morton Scorsese movie in your life. Uh, he did The Irishman, which is on oh Netflix. A that nice four-hour watch with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. And I feel like you're really going to appreciate that movie in that four-hour, two-minute time run. So, Josh, because you started this, I'm going to give you the Irishman. I'm gonna have breakfast and lunch while watching that fucking movie. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. You insulted me with the Green Knight, so I had to whip up that one. That's why you know Green Knight's only two hours. It's two hours. I survived two hours. Apparently, it's two hours. It's of two hours garbage. and like five minutes. I think. Like two, max. It's two hours of five. We're literally watching double. Double our time. Yeah. 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 But I'm the bad guy. Oh, the Irishman's only three hours 29. Oh, okay. That's actually better. I mean, honestly, I will take like 31 less minutes. That's five minutes, four hours. I like double hours speed or... <laughs> and this I hate crazy. Justice League. I hate Zack Snyder. I hate oh. so much about it. Yeah. But you never it might seen encourage it before, you to watch the flash. You've seen the shit, like the even shittier version. Yeah. Next, next suggestion for uh, Blake is going to be Batman v Superman extended cut. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> There's no shot I'm watching another DC. <laughs> Let's keep this trend we'll going, end guys. This series right now. <laughs> This series will die right here. <laughs> That's like an yeah, entire day wait. wasted. <laughs> you can have plenty of notes video. for that. Uh, our cinema sins and uh, you know the uh, suggestions slash sentences. Actually, they, they weren't suggestions; they are sentences. Uh, it's it's fitting, you know. This is our first one. We said our sins. We have to repent now. We uh, have to, you know, these are this is our sentence. Um, hopefully next month I'll I'm I'm gonna go first next month. I'll be picking for Alex since you just picked the other person. I'm say right now we're a month away. I'll pick first, guys. <laughs> Get break the cycle. Get take it nice and easy. Uh, that's gonna do it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, of course. Comment down below, you know what you think of maybe. Say some of the movies that you haven't seen yet that you feel like you have for whatever reason. And uh, uh, four hours to read through some comments if anyone actually comments. 
Yeah, you should uh, run that on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> oh, Is that a brother. Body? That's it so is. long. <laughs>